All right, welcome to my home. I am getting ready for my very first 200 hour yoga teacher training. And so I ordered this whiteboard. I'm going to link the description in the uh, comment section, but I want to come and because I YouTubed how to put this together and I wasn't able to find it. So maybe just maybe I can offer a source. Now, the whiteboard comes in a box. It has several tools um, that I'm going to gather right here. So we've got tools, we've got three poles. Um, before I started the video, I went ahead and put on the holder that's at the bottom. So it has a holder for markers and the eraser. I thought that was really cool. It comes in some plastic in the box. So it was protected. Um, I did see some other reviews of other whiteboards and they came damaged. So I'm very, very, very happy that this one did not come damaged. So that was a great plus for us. Now that I have majority of the things picked up from my floor, I'm going to see this manual. Now the manual is a user manual, fully functional. It has uh, a bunch of instructions on it. So we're gonna work from that. So uh, we have a whiteboard, upper leg, Okay, we have a leg with scale. Whiteboard, upper leg, screw, wing nut, setting knob, a knob, a nut, leg with scale, flip chart hook, marker tray spare parts okay so step one lay the whiteboard flat um check and make sure the screws and wing nuts are tightened so it's got a picture wing nut mm. all right so i think that wing nut is already on the board. Yes. Okay. So from there, make sure everything is tightened. All right. And it is tightened. Okay. Perfect. Now it says turn the whiteboard upside down and place on the tray, which I did already. And step three, put one leg into the setting knob, part five, and then tighten it. Okay. So this is the leg and it's telling me to Put one leg, part eight, into the setting knob, part five. So this is the setting knob. It's telling me to put it inside of here and tighten it. leg in there like it says and tighten it okay so that's twisting that knob so that's what I did now step four 
How to fix the other two legs. Insert two legs, part eight, into the back plastic pipes. Step two, put the nut part seven, okay, it's on the picture, uh, into the upper hole. All right, so. Put this inside of here, all right, and put the nut part seven, okay, into upper hole. Insert knob part six into the upper hole. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Uh oh. Alright, so that's supposed to go in there. That's nice. And you tighten it. Okay. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. But you want to make sure it is in there. So I'm gonna have to undo it some. So that the actual thing is in there and now tighten it. All right, and now it's not going anywhere. All right. And we will reinsert this. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not, but. I'm gonna go ahead and make it like that. Tighten it to ensure the leg is fixed. Hang the tripod on the setting knob, part five. Uh, So putting it back in there and we're going to tighten it with the snob righty tighty lefty you can see. Try to balance it. 
with the other side. All right, we got it standing up, but I'm still um, working on this part here to see the tripod part. This part is going like that. I'm not sure of where that is supposed to be going. Hang the tripod on the setting knob. Setting knob. So it does look like it is supposed to go in there. In this, there's a groove in this setting knob. Maybe. Okay, am I just missing it? I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to unscrew this. We got that together it wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be the last step is to apply the flip chart hooks on so they go And there you have it. So I'm going to remove, it comes with a protective layer um, to keep the whiteboard protected. So, and it has a message. Attention, please remove the protective film before you. So that's what I'm doing now. And I really enjoyed the fact that it was a magnetic board. So, comes with three markers, red, black, and blue. And it comes with two, four, six magnets. Amazing. So, let's test it out. Um, Prana Yama. What is Pranayama? What is Prana Yama? So we break the word down in itself. Huh, I like it. 
30. Love that. Thank you all for checking out this video with me and putting together a board with me. So spin the board around and let's really talk about it because I was putting it together for the first time with you all and maybe just maybe those instructions while I was putting it together myself uh, weren't as clear. So step, it has all of the parts that you will use. It also has spare parts here at the bottom. So don't worry about not using all the parts because it comes with spare parts. So I have parts left over. Gives you a whole list of everything that you're gonna use. So step one, you wanna lay the whiteboard flat, okay? And check and make sure that the screws and wing nuts are tightened. So that's here, these screws, they're already on there. So that's nothing that you have to worry about. Just make sure it's tightened, cool. And then make sure these screws on the side that were already there are tightened. Um, cool. So then turn the whiteboard upside down, you flip it upside down, and that's when you apply the uh, board here, the stand that holds the um, markers. You just pop that on, okay? Step three, you want to put one leg, which is here, into the setting knob, part five. So this is the setting knob. That's what that looks like. Setting knob looks like this, okay? And then you want to turn that knob. That's what's gonna cause the, the screw in there is going to touch the pole and keep the pole sturdy. That's how that's working, all right? So screw that. The next is you wanna insert the other two legs, one and two, and they have screws as well. But you have to, for those, the key is to use that nut that we put inside of there. So there's one and two that are inserted right here in this little divot, okay? So you wanna put those in there and then screw those, one and then two. And so from there, your board is gonna stand up. But remember, don't put this on and don't, uh, like I had to undo it. So don't have this inside of the hole because you want the tripod, that's what they're calling it. You want it to be fitting in the groove. There's like a little groove right here that it can fit into. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna put the tripod into the groove that is on the setting, the knob. So right there, boom. Next is to put the two flip chart hooks on the whiteboard. So those are the flip chart hooks, one and two. And that's it. So let's test out the eraser. Oh wow, the eraser is magnetic as well. That's super cool. So let's see. So I'm, I'm not wanting to hold it um, so that you all can get the actual idea of the sturdiness on it. Let's see if I can tighten it up a bit. All right, so it erases pretty well. Um, and potentially mine could just be uneven, maybe. Yeah, that's what the, it's looking uneven. Um, one of my legs is, yeah, there we go. So you wanna make sure your legs are even. Yeah, or your board will be a little wobbly. So, oh, this one's a little different, the shape of it. And the shape of this marker is different. So I'm just noticing that. Let's see the shape of the blue one. I think it was pretty normal. So maybe, I'm not sure if, 
this is a defect of it looking like this <laughs> versus this one. All right, so thank you all for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If it helped you, share it with someone. Leave in the comments below if you have any questions. I'd love to help you out with your board. And good luck in your teaching. Good luck with all of your students. I hope that you are sharing some very valuable knowledge to your students and that they can really grasp that and enjoy that aspect of your teachings in their life. Subscribe to my channel. If any of this helped for you, subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Thank you.